So Transformers Revenge of the Fallen is uh, poised to be the big movie of the summer. It made $55 million on its first day uh, on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, audiences are really excited for it. Critics hate it. Um, I, didn't, I didn't hate it, but uh, I, I do think it's, it's a pretty big mess. I mean, the, the, the action sequences are much better this time around. Uh, the thing that frustrated me most about the first movie and kept me from really enjoying it, honestly, was uh, the, the general incoherence of, of the battle, you know, scenes between the, the Autobots and the Decepticons. That's... That problem is is largely solved in this movie. I, you know, the the shots are a little bit longer, and it's the camera isn't you know moving all over the place, and it's uh, it's it's a little calmer, and it works. It works much better. The problem is the story is literally incomprehensible. I mean, I I couldn't tell you what uh, happened in this movie other than you know some robots fought each other, and uh, there was a really old robot who came back and. And, uh, you know, Decepticons are bad and they want to put out the sun. Uh, I mean, that's about as coherent as the movie is, so you can't expect much more from me. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big, dumb emphasis on the dumb uh, summer popcorn flick. And you kind of know what you're getting when you go into it. Uh, so, you know, buyer beware.